The first thing I do is set up my groups. I figure out what part of the console I want them on. And then I go to the Operate tab on the bottom and then the Mains Group tab. And determine if I want each group to be mono, stereo, or 5.1. I determine where I want to put my inputs. Uh, the important ones on the top are A layer and the ones I don't need all the time on the B layer or uh, the ones that I use most towards the center uh, close to the groups um, and typically to the right of the groups I have my music playback, my tape machine playback, and my routers. To set up each input type you select the input, go to the tools tab it's on fader assignment, it says new channel, and you could select mono. So again, you just select the channel, the tools, it's on fader assignment, um, new channel and mono. Now you can also select another channel, stereo, another channel, stereo, another channel, 5.1. But let's say we didn't want that one to be 5.1, so uh, make sure it's highlit. Go to the Layer Tools tab and then Clear. It will clear whichever one was highlight. You can see it flashing. And then the Execute button will get rid of that. Go back to Tools again and let's just make it stereo. So it was highlight and now it's stereo. Now let's make the next one a group. So the mains and groups over here on the left. I select Groups and make it Group 1. And let's take the next one and make that Group 2 and the next one We'll make that one group three. Now just because we can, we'll make the next one main number one. Now if you want to get rid of that main off of your uh, fader, you can just select it, hit the clear path, and then execute. Now I'm going to get rid of the group, and the next group, and the next group. Maybe I'll put them somewhere else on the console. Let's say we want to move channel 36 to 37 uh, back to the layer tools and next to the clear is a swap path. Oh, the wrong one's highlight. Let's highlight the one we want to move. Swap path. Select the path we want it to move to and hit execute. Do it again. 35. Swap path. We want to send it to 36 and execute. This moves every aspect of the previous channel to the new channel on the desk. Now that we have the type of channel selected, you can see it still says no input, so let's give it some inputs. You go to the I.O. tab on the bottom, and then on the upper left you have uh, inputs or inserts, and we want inputs or I.O. patch. So you select your uh, source, and you can select from uh, input or outputs actually. Um, we're just going to go input source, and we have selected AES. These are all of our AES inputs that we have available to us. You can also go to the line, and that will give us all of the line inputs that are available to us, or the mics. Uh, each console can be set up totally different. These can be grouped in any different way, and that one tab is the default, which is everything. It will have the AES, the mics, and the lines. They're displayed in mono or displayed in stereo, so across is the left and the right. Now I want to select, make sure where it's actually going to go. I want to make sure I have the right layer. And I want to go to Input Channels or Channel I.O. And let's pick this channel and give it an AES input. Patch, done. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can select several at a time. Go back to Mono, so we get left and then right and then left and then right. Um, and you just have to have the top one highlight and it will fill in the rest. This is another mono input. I'm going to fill in the rest of those four inputs with those four from the left. And it uh, looks like I added a one mono input to one stereo channel, so let's get rid of that. I just highlight it and remove. Looks like I have three stereo inputs over here, so I'll make it stereo and grab three over here. And just it'll fill in the other three. Um, now the next one is a 5.1 input. So I will select, it's actually two 5.1 inputs, so let's select the next six channels, patch those. There's another way you could do it. You could, so I'm going to remove these. Let's remove them all. You highlight the ones you want to remove, and then just pick the three channels and patch them that way.
It's just a different way of doing it. Now I'll just remove them, show you different ways to remove them one at a time or as a group or just all of them, however you want to do it. And that's how you set up inputs on the Calrec Artemis.